Hello, today we're going to look at three ways of connecting the Big IP to Istio. The first, we will use just a TCP connection. The second, we'll use Mutual TLS. And the third, we'll use JOT. So let's go look at these three scenarios. Here in scenario one, we can see that the Big IP is just acting as a TCP proxy to the Istio ingress gateway. In this case, the Big IP is taking the external connection that's coming from the client, connecting it over to Istio, and that's it. What you'll observe in this first example when we do the demo is that when the client connects, they will see a certificate error because they are receiving an untrusted certificate from the Istio ingress gateway. In the second example, we will look at using the C3D feature of the Big IP to convert a trusted certificate that is presented by a client to a C3D certificate that is trusted by Istio. This is useful in cases where you are unable to install a trusted certificate in Istio. Instead, the Big IP will proxy that trusted connection to the Istio service mesh and dynamically regenerate the client certificate. In the third example, we'll look at using the Big IP to convert a username and password to a JOT token that is trusted by Istio. This is useful in cases where the Big IP may take a username and password, authenticate it to a legacy source like Active Directory, and then convert this into a JOT token that is understood by Istio. Now let's look at these three scenarios in our demo environment. Here we are in the demo environment on the Big IP. What we can see in this environment is that we are using the container ingress services to provide three different virtual servers to our Istio service mesh. The first virtual server is providing a TCP connection, which is going to provide a pass-through connection to the Istio ingress gateway. The second example is making use of the C3D feature, and the third virtual server is making use of APM to generate JOT tokens for the Istio service mesh. Now let's look at the first example where we're using a TCP connection to Istio. In this scenario, I am going to open a new window to the first virtual server that we created. Again, this virtual server was created with only a TCP connection. The first error that you will observe is that because this is using a certificate that is on Istio, we are getting a certificate error. This is an example where you may not be able to install a CA sign certificate on Istio. Now let's take a look at the configuration of the first example. Looking at our first TCP connection, you can see that the Big IP is configured for a TCP connection and it is not providing any form of TLS termination. Now we're going to update the configuration of Istio to enforce mutual TLS connections to our backend service. Here we can see the configuration that we are using to enforce a mutual TLS connection to Istio. In this configuration, we can also take note that we are specifying a CA certificate that has been installed on the Big IP. This will enable Istio to trust certificates that are presented by the Big IP. Here on the Big IP, we can look at the configuration that we are using for mutual TLS connections. Unlike the previous example, we can see that we have configured the Big IP for both client-side and server-side TLS termination. Taking a look at the individual client-side profile for SSL, we can also look at the configuration that we are using to make use of C3D. In particular, you'll notice that the C3D feature has been enabled for this client-side profile. What this is going to allow us to do is generate a new client certificate based upon the one that is presented by our client. Now that we have configured both 
Istio and the Big IP to use mutual TLS, we can create a mutual TLS connection to our Istio service mesh. Now that mutual TLS has been configured, we can see that our web browser is prompting the user for a client-side certificate. Looking at the certificate, you can see that we are using a client-side certificate that been, has been issued by our intermediate CA. Here we can see that we have successfully connected to Istio and that we are now using a trusted certificate that has been configured on the Big IP. Furthermore, we can look at the certificate that is being presented by the Big IP to Istio. In this case, I'm going to make use of a Python script to decode the certificate into a format that is readable. I will now copy that decoded certificate onto my Windows host here. And we can compare the certificate that was presented by Istio to the certificate that was presented by the client. The client certificate that we presented via Chrome is signed by the intermediate CA. The certificate that is presented to Istio, on the other hand, has been issued by the demo C3D CA. This is showing that the Big IP was able to terminate the mutual TLS connection from the client and convert it into a new mutual TLS connection that is trusted by Istio. Now that we have looked at both the TCP and mutual TLS example, let's look at using JWT tokens. In this third example, we're imagining a scenario where we need to authenticate a username and password and present this to a service that is running in Istio that only understands JWT tokens. In the case of our JWT token example, we are again terminating the TLS connection on the Big IP. Unlike the previous example, we are not making use of mutual TLS. Instead, we will be using JWT. In order to use JWT tokens, we are making use of the Access Policy Manager to authenticate the user using a username and password. Here, we can see a visualization of our Access Policy. In this case, we'll be following the flow where an end user is going to be entering a username and password. And then we will be performing a single sign-on using an OAuth bearer token that is trusted by Istio. Now let's take a look at our third example. Unlike our previous example, I am not going to present a client-side certificate to the Big IP. You can see here that we are now being prompted for a username and password. And we can see that we have successfully authenticated to Istio. Now observe that there is a new OAuth header that has been generated by the Big IP. Decoding this JWT token, we can see that the JWT issuer is the big IP, and it contains the username of the user that authenticated using username and password. To review, we've looked at three examples of using the big IP with Istio. The first was a TCP connection, the second was using mutual TLS, and the third was using JWT. I hope you found this interesting. Thank you for watching.